Hi, this is Christina of Girl Traveler. Today we're going to talk about teaching in Korea through the EPIC program. Now, unfortunately, one of the things about teaching abroad is that it's filled with a lot of unknown and that could be a little worrisome to some people uh, because you don't know. You don't know what you're going to get in terms of an apartment, a work environment and code teachers or uh, a school as well as the city you're going to live in. These are like the three, the three main ones. Outside of that, everything just seems manageable, but you feel you feel like these three things can make or break your lifestyle there, and to a degree they can. A lot of us worry about that. Now with the apartments, we can't cho you can't choose that. Uh, it's really dependent upon your school, the school that you get, because it'll be what your school can afford, what they have contracts with, or what they already own in terms of an apartment. So there are so many different types of apartments in Korea, anywhere from new to old, large to small. I was fortunate because I had a huge apartment. It was larger than my apartment in New York City, which actually you don't really have to stretch that much to be larger than that shoebox apartment I had. Um, so that was one asset. I loved my apartment. Uh, same time when I taught at Hagwon, uh, the apartment I had was like worse than my New York apartment. It was like one room and with a sink and refrigerator and a leaky AC, it was it was kind of claustrophobic. I, I didn't know how the person before me lived in that room for the whole year. They must have spent most of their time out, outdoors because that was just a dreadful room. But that has nothing to do with whether or not you're with Epic or Hagwon uh, because I've heard the opposite, you know, true in terms of apartments as well. But when I went through my program, everyone kind of had a mixed bag you know, in terms of whether they had great apartments or great co-teachers or, you know, principals, all that stuff. So to get all those, you know, all those three things that you want, you kind of have to just roll with the punches. Work environment, I love my school. Well, I didn't have such great relationship with my co-teacher though, and that uh, was not to my advantage because it's your co-teacher that's gonna help you it's kind of like your host to the country they're gonna help you with the cultural things as well as help you set up your apartment and uh, your bank account and all that stuff and my co-teacher wasn't really helpful uh, so I kind of had a hard time going through that but fortunately I knew expats in the same city and they were really helpful to me and you know like there are times that I go to them and you know, go with them and their co-teacher to do things. City. Now, I know a lot of people want to be in the city that they want to be in, you know, for their very, for very specific reasons. Uh, but with Epic, they allow you to pick like four or five of your, you know, your top picks in terms of cities. Um, and they try to get you your first pick, but the thing is it all depends on how early your application comes in. If you're going for a city that is really popular, and has like a few positions then then it's all about how early you get your application in uh, so it's really about uh, how popular the city is how many positions they have in it and the timing of your application if you are interested in teaching in Seoul which a lot of people are um, then you're actually gonna have to apply to SMOE which is not EPIC but is kind of like a sister of EPIC and the requirements there are a little different. They're a, li a little, um, a little higher than Epic is. I got placed in a city that was my first pick, but I knew nothing about that city uh, actually. So I actually really didn't care for my city. I was in Daegu. I didn't really care for my city that much, and only started appreciating it towards the end. Like I loved my neighborhood. I loved my school. I loved my apartment. All that stuff, and I made some good friends out there too. Uh, but the city itself, I was just like, eh. <laughs> that was good in the sense of it just forced me or pushed me to explore a lot of other cities in Korea. And that's how I got to develop a blog. So I hope I was able to give you some insight into what it's like teaching in Korea and through the EPIC program. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Uh, check out my description box below because it'll have some, you know, some information and, so, and a link that'll shoot you out to my website. I actually blogged um, a lot of my process and stuff like that about Korea. Um, it's on my blog, so check that out. It might be helpful for you. Um, 
Until then, give me a thumbs up or like, subscribe to my channel, and then travel safe, smart, and fun.